into the lands of the world's most dangerous terror group, ISIL. We cross into Raqqa province as we travel with the Syrian army who are on a challenging task of attacking the Islamic State Syrian capital and we take a strategic air base in the same province. For the grueling task, the army dispatched the elite Desert Falcons unit, a unit that specializes in desert warfare and uses a combination of soldiers and volunteer fighters who are natives of the desert. And in what used to be the heart of the Islamic State, the chilling secrets continue to be revealed along the way of the advancing units. Just this morning, all the areas we're standing in used to be ISIL territory. Behind me, is, this is one of ISIL headquarters, a room buried under the ground, so it can be undetectable by the Air Force and reconnaissance of the Syrian army. This uh, headquarter, according to Syrian soldiers who raided this place, contained sex slaves that were taken from Iraq and brought here to Syria for the entertainment of ISIL militants. These little rooms are a reminder of all the things that make ISIL the terrifying entity it is. We advance further towards the front lines, where the fight heats up. The Syrian army is using sophisticated technology, trying to enhance the precision of the air raids. They explain that the vast areas of the desert have often played in favor of ISIL as the radical group attacks using small groups, too small and too many, for airstrikes to be effective against them. Once we engage them at close range, it is no problem. But before that, they send suicide attacks and car bombs our way. Minutes later, ISIL hits back, mortars and heavy machine gun firing, and the soldiers take formation. We take shelter behind the armored vehicles, and soon after, the aim of the attack is revealed. ISIL sent a car bomb to hit the army gathering, but the military managed to stop it in time. There is little space or time to rest here. The burning sun of the daylight is still safer than the darkness of night, so after a short break, the soldiers press ahead again. These young men advance towards a fight that the world will be watching to see how it ends. Will ISIL lose its Syrian capital and will the radical group break in Syria? Only upcoming days will tell. Allah Abraham, CCTV, Araqqa province, Eastern Syria.